We have arrived at Santa Pod, the trusty MX-5 that drove all three hours without breaking. Basically, Savage Day down at Pod should be awesome. Uh, when Mike gets here, we're all gonna laugh at him for getting lost. Hey, it looks cool though. I had to start the vlog without you, where have you been? I started the vlog without me, you're fucking home, you did something, isn't it? <laughs> Tell us about the car quickly. You've, um, dri you've driven it a lot. It, it's scary, it's really grippy, and it's got obviously minimal power, so it's just maximum send, hold on, and just hope you don't die. So, I'm walking around the paddock here, I feel like I'm at a hairdresser's convention, but look how cool these two hairdressers are. God damn. Very cool. Is that? Is, is that? Is that Phil Morrison? Uh, I'm pretty confident this is one of Craig's liveries. I mean, it has insane. Like, if you're doing any sort of a design for the MX-5, I know you're doing stuff with Craig. Just get inspiration from this one, because that is. Wow. Just, just copy and it. Hi, 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 motherfuckers. It's a bit of you. It's a bit of me now, yeah. Can you look at them wheels? Them wheels? No, I don't read them across. What are they? They're SSR Viennas? Yeah. Is that right? Did I get that right? I'm learning. by John, so. yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Someone's going to pick up all them corns after me. <laughs> 900 PSI? And the rest. Nah, we're definitely going to go 80. Cole gets at 60, but he hasn't drove this car before. I'd let Chris drive the car in there now than that kidney track. crash it but you told me I could have fun We've got a good, a good friend, Dan Martin. He's the well-known person on the internet. Uh, well this loved. is his drift car. We all love him. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of us. Ask him what's happened to his car. We'll let the people at home guess. 
I want to move the filter so it's only like practical so I can put it next to where I think a handbrake would come into play once or twice. I see she has to like reinitiate with the weight, so I'm a little bit excited, but when I go out, I definitely want to be last just in case. It was hard. There's a lot in it, isn't it's there? It's very gripping. You need a handbrake. Yeah. And like I was watching coming through there, I was like, oh, I don't know now. Like I'm a little bit, I'm a little tingle in my belly like for driving that track. Different. Yeah, <laughs> and because of that, they're all out on track because they never need tires, they never need fuel. Yeah, they look at all the big powered cars, they're either in with like the issues, changing wheels, or they're just broke because they're drift cars. Can we let Mike drive your car? Mike can drive the car, but Mike will definitely feel like he's going to die. Clips. We get this fixed and go for past it. That's a fun car, man. That's a really fun car. Yeah, yeah definitely. Oh, oh, oh. Marshall's from BDC and when he's not marshalling he's drifting this MX-5. This is the first time you've brought it to a drift day since you turboed it. Yeah, it used to be on uh, throttle bodies, GSXR throttle bodies uh, and I've just spent the last two years building a new engine. Jesus. Yeah. Took a little extra time to make it look pretty. What power is it? I don't know, it's not been on a dyno yet. I'm hoping for 250, that's kind of the golden sort of power for an MX-5. Yeah. Anything more than that and you're just destroying your tires anyway. Is this a 1.6 or a 1.8? This is a 1.6, only because I already had one. I wish I had a 1.8, I would have done that, but um, it's got forged rods, uh, Piper cams in it, um, and stiffer springs as well. Uh, late model intake manifold because the early ones are awful and all the pipe work is all wrong. And then, uh, yeah, T T25, Garrett T25, journal bearing. Uh, just simple and reliable. Have you been out in it today so far? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I'm hoping to get out this afternoon. Be the first time I've skidded it turbo. Definitely. Well, going from 110 horsepower to this is probably 210, 220. Yeah. So double. Loads of fun. <laughs> Absolutely loads of fun. Worst thing that can possibly happen at a track day is end up in a wall. I feel bad for these lads who are straight in the back of an MX5. Come on. 
<laughs> just drive around it. All you got to do is go to Europe, haven't you? Yeah. And, and then tell you all about it. I remember going out to um, Lithuania back in the day with the Drift All Stars thing, and the first time I went to one of them workshops, man, I saw the most the maddest build you ever seen. There was an S13, and it literally just all just popped together, and the whole front end was chopped and everything. And I was looking like, what the hell is this? Like, and the cars were just like making smoke like no other, you know? Like, and yeah, they had, shit, had some serious pace. They were like well ahead of chopping cars up and, yeah. and making machines work, you know? So I don't think there's anything wrong with having this weight on this car because this car's grippy as hell, anyway. So. So They're a naturally grippy shell. I they think are, it yeah. relieves the, the grip a little bit. It makes yeah. it more drivable for me. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. for anyone that does know, go follow Evie on Instagram because the stuff he does with the BMX is absolutely insane. And now is yeah. Well, I'm very interested to see what they do with that car. And I'm very interested to see if they get ready to, to, to be. He's been. Uh, we've been trying to be recently. Yeah. And I think. I think next year if all's good. We'll see him on the grid for maybe around. Uh, Definitely. Big comeback. The carnage will begin. The speed we carry through this section here had my heart in my mouth. <laughs> Holy shit, that was fun! <laughs> taxi for the cars arrived. That's why she's been giving it hell today. Yeah. That's what I said to us, the trailer's here. Uh, can we just go back to what just happened on track? Well, Chris has the... He's, he's got the 360. I so went flying down with Colgate because I thought it was easy to last the wheel. My heart stopped. Sacco is still driving while his wheel was fucking ejector wheel the other direction. Oh, it was like, oh, we're going into it. But we're three miles off. Have we, have we done it? Chris, I think Chris, have we, have we done it? Have we done enough? Yeah, yeah, definitely. We feel more than enough, Chris reckons. It's now half three. Half three. It's over a four. So that's been the Santa Pod video. Thank you very much to Colgate and the rest of the Drift What You Brung team down here at Santa Pod for having us in today to do a couple of laps. Uh, it's, been, it's been fantastic, we've enjoyed it very much and we will be back to pod again. This is just a little bit of the drifting content that's coming. The MX-5 is about to get built by John, so we're gonna check out with that. Like the channel, turn on notifications, subscribe, like the video, tell your mum, all that good stuff. We'll catch you in the next one.